so I only have three eyelashes that I want to share with you I wish I'd ordered more these don't actually have their the names on they come in like a little packet like this so not the best to be honest but if you have like leftover you know like the velour and lily lashes like boxes you can put these in here quite easily they fit in quite nicely they end up looking like this in their little packet so i will show you each and every one of them before i put them on like i'll put them on like an overlay and stuff um, but the one pair i got look really really nice they're quite um wispy towards the ends and they're short at the front the second pair i've got look <laughs> They kind of look really, 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 really long. I'm not sure how these are going to go. They're not actually that thick to me. They're quite wispy, but they're thicker towards the actual lash band. And then they're really wispy. They might look better going on, but in the actual packet, they don't look that great. Um, and these are the very last ones. So these are just standard. They're all sort of one length, slightly wispy on the end. I'm going to be using is the eyelash glue. My... I wanted to mention two to be honest this is the one that i usually use and this is from ilia this is their lash fix clear finish strip lash adhesive if you can get hold of the black one this is just so good but i haven't been able to find the black one so we're back with this one the one i'm going to use today is the one from Rav revlon not ravlon and this is their precision clear lash adhesive prove this because it's making my hair look more orange than what it actually is which is impossible um but yeah this is really good for filling in the gaps the lash is peeling from the outer corners then this is really good to stick it down um, but I do find that this clumps up your lashes if it does get onto it and it's not very good at sort of sticking the whole lash down and if I'm sort of struggling or if you guys tend to struggle with putting on eyelashes I cannot recommend enough this little tool here from we love lashes which is like forceeyelashes.co.uk what I tend to do is hold it here hold the lash in this part here pop them on and then sort of tap them down with this bottom part. First lashes I'm going to take are the ones that are slightly tapered. Now I'm just going to take some scissors and literally just snip off the ends. So in terms of how I rate these lashes to be good or not, first and foremost, do they look good? Like that is probably um, the most important thing that I think you can find. How does the lash band stick on the eye? So in terms of that, I literally mean does it poke into your eye and is it painful and also how long do or how long can i wear them for so in terms of that i mean how like when i take them off and stuff like i am pretty good at cleaning them and reusing them so how often can i end up reusing them so i'm holding the lashes literally like this and all i'm going to do is plonk them onto my eye other lashes i'm going to use the super super long ones like Do you know what the weirdest thing is is these lashes like this super long lash would not like in person they look absolutely ridiculous like on camera they might look fine in person they look absolutely ridiculous because they are just so long that I can feel them it's literally like Maleficent's crown on my eyes they actually look really good for like Instagram pictures so I feel like these are Instagram lashes so the ones on my right side which are going to be your left side these are the ones that are slightly wispy towards the end so it's these ones here these are really nice like I like these they feel super comfortable in the eyes like I can't feel the lash band they feel so weightless which is really good there's no sticking and bodging but I do think part of that comes from actually trimming down your lashes these ones here are the super super long ones these are the super super long ones that I have on this is what they look like side profile in person I feel like I would be really conscious that people are like what is with their eyelashes like they look way too dramatic oh I think in instagram pictures i think these would look really really good so i'll do close-ups of these and stuff so you can see them oh my god you guys i cannot wait to get my hair done like it is literally oh no amount of purple shampoo can sort in between hair colors it's a nightmare by the way if this is the first time watching my channel and you haven't seen any of my other videos the reason why my hair is so orange is because i'm going back blonder because i was like super super dark I'm just gonna wing it now um but i was super super dark before and i don't want to ruin my hair and oh felicia i don't want to go back in and like super like dry my hair out because i really do want to take good care of my hair and i think i can put up with this for now so the lash band on these are a little bit different 
and by different I mean that they the other ones were clear whereas these are black I think I prefer these to be honest these aren't like stabby stabby and by that I mean the eyelash band with some eyelashes tend to stab you in the eyes and it's really really, really irritating um, I just like to push these down and sort of bounce the lashes into the actual lash band so this is how these ones are looking i really like these i think they're really nice they're quite like they are still dramatic but i don't feel like they're as dramatic as the other ones in terms of the thickness and also how long they were wisp out nicely they give a really nice sort of end to your eye just here which i absolutely love but yeah this is how these look so bear in mind i haven't properly stuck down the whole eyelashes um yeah i like these they feel good is that like when you look up and stuff like you can feel them there but not to the point where it's really annoying and you just like Ugh, feels awful but i really like these they're from a brand called uk's best retailers i don't know if you can see that there probably not um but yeah they're called uk's best retailers it's fast and free shipping i got mine literally within like a few days so that is absolutely everything for me today you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm hoping to keep it a little bit short um but i would definitely recommend trying out some of these lashes because i think they're super affordable and i do think they'll look like really really good with when you're all done up and stuff like that but because I haven't really done anything, it looks a little bit like her. I planned to film a half up, half down hair makeup tutorial, but I think because my hair is so coppery looking, like literally like so coppery looking, it's changing the lighting. Um, because it is that way at the minute, I think I'm gonna leave it and just wait until my hair's like properly properly done so thank you so much for watching today guys i hope you enjoy if you have tried these lashes or you've got any similar lashes that you would like to recommend then please do let me know other than that i shall see you in my next video bye